hello guys welcome back to another try hack me challenge uh, today we are going to uh, work on another beginner level uh, challenge uh, and this is basically uh, uh, the name is gaming server an easy boot to root box for beginners and um, it just asks for user flag and root flag and uh, this is a web development uh, uh, this contains a web development component and we can uh, start working on it okay so this is the IP address I've already uh, um, copied it from from the website let's um, add it into our variable and first thing first and map scan and uh, with SE and SV parameters let's apply the Kali password and let's start it Meanwhile, it is working. Let's uh, go to the URL. If it contains a web port, then we will see some some page. Yes, it is. So this is a kind of uh, gaming websites. So let's uh, check the URLs here. You you can see the URL here. So nothing in nothing is there. Nothing is there in archive. Nothing is there. Here is one URL. Uh, about.html and follow us here read me archives.html um, and nothing in here myth about and myths.html okay so archive.html does not exist uh, let's start from the first page so we have covered all the links let's see if anything is written here um so here is one comment so john please add some actual content to the site this uh, is horrible to look at okay so the we we got one user uh, which is john nothing else uh, in the first page let's go to uh, second page um, source there is no comment or nothing nothing uh, content which is no content which is hidden okay now the third page uh, the same thing and nothing interesting here okay so we we can see one uh, more url here uh, that is upload dot uh, slash uploads and all the urls are same so we are safe to close this one and let's see uh, this page again and no new URL so we got one one page that is uploads and we can see three files okay before moving further let's uh, see the result of nmap so it is it says 22 SS port is open and 80 TCP IP HTTP port is open so um, we we don't see any clue other than uh, 80 port we need to get as much as detail from uh, this website and then we will uh, brute force or will find a way to log into the server using SSH port and um, uh, in order to uh, check what else we are missing or which which is hidden in HTTP we can use um, go buster um, sudo go buster dir uh, hyphen u http dollar ip and this is the word list and let's reduce it down to 50 and let's start it okay meanwhile uh, it is running it is showing us slash uploads and we can go back here and we can download these files uh, save link as let's save in home directory itself and there is a manifesto.txt and meme.jpg let's save this one as well maybe uh, there is a steganography used um, okay so this is a hacker manifesto by the mentor uh, written okay let's write down the names john 
mentor maybe I don't know if this is a user on this box um, I'm a hacker in my world and when you uh, closely read it you will find one more name that is Smith and rest is just a manifesto nothing special here so we can write another user that is Smith so we found three usernames and uh, we found one directory listing files let's see what is written here so this is kind of a password list so we can use this to brute force with the, with the user we got and there is one more directory we can see here uh, there is secret so we can try accessing it so there is a secret key okay so we got the RSA key and let's save this one as well uh, in the home directory secret key okay so uh, let's go to our shell and open another one let's zoom a bit and uh, cd home directory ls so we got secret key meme.jpg and directory listing so before using the secret key let's see what is uh, there in meme.jpg this is a jpeg file we have not tried to uh, access it using browser so this is a simple cartoon character here we can close this out and we can check uh, if we can see any detail uh, using exif tool anything written in properties nothing nothing and nothing okay so we can uh, we can uh, keep this aside and we can try using uh, the um, secret key we we might need a passphrase so we can use a uh, locate John uh, maybe SSH to John first so here it is so we we are we will brute force the passphrase of, of this key okay um, so this is the script and this is the secret key and then id for idr rsa for john maybe let's add dot txt okay now sudo john um, word list we can pass rock you but let's uh, begin with the word list which we got here uh, uh, dict dot list and the file okay so we got the secret key that this is uh, this was quite an easy okay so before moving further i don't think anything will come up here 33 35 percent is completed so we can cancel this out uh, it will save our resources let's zoom in here and let's see uh, so we can access we can try accessing the server uh, what should be the user let's begin with john and ssh um, the secret file uh, why it is not coming sshi secret key and john at dollar ip unable to resolve hostname name or service not known okay am i missing something echo dollar ip okay uh, okay so that ip was stored in previous window got it copy paste my god okay let's remove this one and same command john at dollar ip 
so the passphrase was uh, let me in um, bad permission okay so ch mode 600 uh, secret key and let's try again the passphrase is let me in okay so this is success uh, let's see what we can do uh, ls user.exe so this is uh, our first flag uh, yes so copy and uh, go to website paste submit that's correct okay so now we need to elevate our privilege uh, before moving further let's see if there are other users because we saw smith name was also mentioned in manifesto so slash uh, home no so uh, can we do sudo minus l we don't have the password so we cannot id john john uh, so the odd thing is there multiple groups are here so lxd so if you are familiar with uh, Linux container uh, you probably might have guessed that we can use LXD to elevate our privilege let's see what we can do using LXD um, LXD uh, Linux containers Linux introduction Linux container so I'm just um, giving you a kickstart so basically using uh, this uh, uh, tool you can say you can manage the containers uh, like uh, docker and uh, there are some basic commands that you can uh, find uh, in some uh, guide some getting started guide so um, let me show you uh, mac os windows build initial configuration access control lxd client uh, example for ubuntu images uh, so basically we need to uh, create or use any image and we can then start and stop the instance and here you can see we can take shell uh, using using lxc command line so since we have access uh, we we are part of uh, lxd group so we might run we we can run this command and we can get into the root access so let's let's begin so in order to use this uh, there is a there is a tool called alpine linux image builder alpine linux image builder i hope i am pronouncing it correctly uh, yes it is and uh, there are no uh, detailed explanation here but we can start with uh, cloning this one uh, copy and let's move to our Kali box here and let's zoom in so git clone and paste the URL here uh, okay let's move to our home directory clear and let's run it again yes this has executed can we go into uh, lxt alpine builder ls there is a build alpine script so we can run uh, why it is not taking uh, build alpine okay so basically it will create an image okay it has failed here uh, verify okay warning unable to select package no such file directory so it all started here um, mirrors.txt no such file directory 
okay uh, let's see if this exists uh, we are already here so ls no such file directory ls rootfs user share apk okay there is no directory called Alp alpine mirrors and under this directory there there should be a file called alpine.txt mm -hmm. maybe we need to fix something here let's uh, start with uh, mirror.txt no such file or directory uh, we can we can try searching if this is a known issue with this project uh, based uh, yes so this is the project and issue number one <laughs> okay 2018 maybe let's go to the latest one uh, to avoid uh, using all the solution so this is the latest one uh, maybe in this year I have a problem and no such file directory the exact same message let's zoom in here and total absence of mirror.txt so this is the same case as ours and <coughs> worked fine so what was the solution create a directory and mirror mirror and add mirror file with the following okay so we can create a directory and <clears throat> add this mirrors.txt okay so mk um, let's uh, get into it cd space root fs usr and share mkdir the directory name should be uh, alpine mi adder mirrors okay sudo okay cd space alpine mirrors w get paste and access denied gain sudo the success let's go back um, okay so we are we are back here and let's run this again uh, sudo build alpine enter so this time it has selected the mirror so we are we are good for now let's see if it will create an image that we can use um, and we can uh, initiate uh, LXC instance on our target machine 89% 90 almost completed okay ls yes so we got uh, the image um, maybe we can uh, rename this uh, to uh, maybe l Alpine dot 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 ZZ. Okay, so yes, success. Okay, now let's uh, start the Python three. We need to uh, move uh, move or copy this. Um, image to our target machine so we can use uh, python 3m and uh, i forgot the syntax completely let me check what was that uh, okay so hyphen m and http dot server okay and then let's uh, copy this w get http colon slash slash our IP address was 
4.0.216 and slash alpine.tar.zz connection refused okay so i have not mentioned the port number 8000 yes okay so it is able to access and it is coping it here okay uh, let's uh, zoom in here i'm quickly grabbing the uh, syntax uh, of using lxc okay we can cancel this uh, http server and we can zoom in here let's clear this out okay now the first command is lxc image import uh, dot slash alpine basically we need to import this image and we can give some uh, alias maybe um, let's mention just image so the image has imported into the database and then let's initialize it uh, image ignite c security dot privileged equal to true so this is necessary to uh, so that we can access uh, we can get uh, the root privilege so ignite uh, maybe ignite one uh, if it already exists created it ignite one okay lxc config device add ignite one and my device disk source equal to root and path equal to mnt slash root recursive equal to true so this is the uh, syntax which i have uh, taken from the from the website which i just shown you so uh, you can uh, you can uh, go through from the complete documentation so i'm not getting into the into the container thing and we we just need to basically import the image and uh, create uh, create some template and then we need to configure the device and we are good to uh, start uh, this uh, ignite one my bad yes so it has started no error and we are done with this and we can now finally ignite one we can finally run the shell bin bash id root so you can see uh, we have ex escalated our privilege using lxc so i will suggest to go go through the documentation if you're interested in uh, container thing so that you can understand what each command is so let's uh, check if we can uh, access the root directory now yes we can but there is no flag so where is the flag so we, we need to search the flag maybe let's use find slash uh, name root.txt permission denied okay so there is one which is in mnt root slash root so this is showing slash mnt slash root so basically we have mounted a uh, root on slash mnt slash root so that's why everything is uh, is uh, showing under slash mnt okay so cat i mean maybe just copy this complete thing here uh, and this is our root flag okay let's verify eight minutes is left and submit okay so we are done with this lab um I hope you have enjoyed this and uh, this is this is a little tricky part here LXE um, 
but uh, i hope you you have understood how to how to check uh, where we need to go there are i believe couple of uh, rabbit holes like we have not used the image uh, image which which is um, what what you call uh, the meme.jpg so we have not used this um, and also uh, we got the dictionary list um, on on http port but we have not used these names so i'm so after getting into the machine we got to know that there are no user other than john but if we uh, have not used these use the go buster we could not get the uh, uh, rsa key so i hope you have learned new things and uh, and you are learning using my videos i am just creating beginner level things and i am also learning so please subscribe and keep watching my videos uh, and enjoy bye bye